Hello, beautiful people. How are you doing today? My name is Jackie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am taking you with me to Orlando's Viral Bookstore, Authentic Books. I have seen this place all over Bookstagram and since I'm in Orlando currently, I thought we would take a little trip there on our way out of town and I thought I'd bring you all with me. Authentic Books is not exactly like other bookstores because when you go there, you get to create your own book box or book tote bag with your purchase of one of their titles. So it's like a really cute, you know, create your own experience. And I thought it would be a fun thing to check out. It's in the north of Orlando, closer to Winter Park. And we're also going to stop for some brunch uh, this morning too on our way out of town. I've been in Orlando because my mom and I spent the past few days at Disney World. We went to Hollywood Studios one day and we went to the Epcot Food and Wine Festival one day. So this will be a really fun bookish way to cap off our trip. If you look out our hotel window, that is Disney Springs in the distance. You can see that is the hot air balloon and that is the Cirque du Soleil tent. So it was a really fun weekend and this is going to be the cherry on top. Let's go. So like I mentioned, Authentic Books is in the north of Orlando, very close to Winter Park, and I have seen this place all over Instagram. I've seen multiple posts and reels about it. Originally, they started as a book box subscription service. So this is their first physical location. When you visit the store, you can pick out one of their books and you can either just buy the book outright like you would at any other store, or you can create your own custom tote bag that has the book and some other swag in it and they carefully choose all of their items to match the vibes and themes of the different books that they're currently selling. They also have this lounge space that you see here where they host events. They apparently have a Mad Hatter murder mystery candle workshop coming up later this month which sounds really interesting. I wish someone would throw a murder mystery party near where I live, but the list of titles is very small and handpicked by their staff. They do have several different types of books. They have some really popular titles, some book talk titles, and also some books that I'd personally never heard of before. So they do have a decent range of genres and options. Then they also have the items for your bags. They are all surrounding the different senses. So they have things for taste, smell, etc. It can be anything from socks to bath bombs to bars of chocolate. And you can either pick three different senses for your bag or you can, you know, double or triple up on one particular thing if that's what you like. They had other things like cocktail mixers, and they also had some other things not included in the bags, like enamel pins that were all bookish related, so those were a separate price. But they did have a lot of really cute stuff, and I will show you at the end of the video the things that I picked out for my bag. I had a fun time looking at all the things they had in the store, and the employee who was there was really friendly too and helped me pick some stuff out for my bag. We also made a quick stop for brunch. It was really good. This place was in Winter Park and they had a make your own mimosa station for brunch, which was super cute. I loved the fresh fruit in it. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. So I am now back home and I'm going to show you what I got. They had these totes for you to fill and they say meet me at the bookstore and they actually have a picture of what the storefront looks like. So did I really need another tote bag? No, but I have one now <laughs> and it is super cute. Now one of the things about this bookstore is I do have to say they have 
very limited selection. We were talking to the employee who was working there and she basically said that all of the books are hand selected by their staff. So it's a very small list of titles that's really carefully curated and reflective of their specific interests and what all the different employees are reading and liking currently. So it's not going to have a huge amount of books for you to choose from, which is a little bit disappointing, though I do understand it's also not a very large shopping space. You know, it's, it's not Barnes and Noble size. But I did see a book that I have really wanted to read for a few years now. And that's The Poison Thread by Laura Purcell. This is like a Victorian gothic mystery. I read one other Laura Purcell book. I read The Shape of Darkness by her, which I did quite enjoy. And so this is one that's been on my TBR for probably three-ish years and when I saw it there I decided that this was what I had to get. The plot description. Dorothea True Love is young, wealthy, and beautiful. Ruth Butterham is young, poor, and awaiting trial for murder. When Dorothea's charitable work brings her to Oak Gate Prison, she is delighted by the chance to explore her fascination with phrenology and test her hypothesis that the shape of a person's skull can cast a light on their darkest crimes. But when she meets Ruth, she is faced with another strange idea that it is possible to kill with just a needle and thread. The story Ruth has to tell of bitterness and betrayal of death and dresses will shake Dorothea's belief in rationality and the power of redemption. Can Ruth be trusted? Is she mad or a murderer? This has been on my TBR for quite some time, so picked this up for my collection. We'll hopefully read it soon and let you know what I think. Then I'll show you some of the add-ons that I got in my bag. So I got this candle called Twist Ending, and the employee actually recommended this based on the book. They do try to recommend products that they think fit the vibe of the titles. So this has a sense of spicy chai and oat milk froth, and I sniffed it before I bought it, but it smells good. It smells very autumnal to me. It just really has that like fall, pumpkin-y, spicy smell. So that was the first thing. Then I got bath bomb crumble, which I love bath bombs. I've never seen one in a crumble like this before, but basically, you know, you just use it like a bath bomb, but instead of dropping it in, you just crumble a little bit and sprinkle it into the tub however much you want. This one is lemon and lavender. I personally love the scent of lavender, so I'll use this in the future. You can never have too many bath products, or at least that's what I tell myself because I love buying bath products. And then I also got this strawberry and cream chocolate bar. It's actually a vegan white chocolate. So, and white chocolate is technically not chocolate because there's no cocoa in it, but I guess, should I take a little bite? It got a little melted in the car because we were driving back in the Florida heat, but it should still be okay. It just, yeah, it's not as cute <laughs> as it was before, but that's all right, so. really tastes like strawberries and cream. Like just like that. That's good. So I'll eat the rest later. But yeah, it tastes as advertised. Very nice strawberry creamy flavor. So everybody, that was my trip to Authentic Books. It was fun and I'm glad that I went after seeing this place all over Bookstagram, seeing multiple reels and posts about it. My ultimate thoughts are it definitely was fun 
it is very expensive and they do have limited selection but if you're in the area definitely pop in and it looks like they have a lot of really fun events going on there too so if you're a local to the orlando winter park area definitely go check them out maybe sign up for one of the events they're having at their store i believe you can also order their book subscription boxes online if that's something any of you are interested in so I do recommend checking it out with those caveats that it is pricey and they do have a limited selection of titles. But, you know, if you're in the area, definitely pop in and, and just see. You can also purchase all of these items a la carte. You do not have to get a tote bag. You can just get a book. You can just buy some of their non-book products. So that's also always an option. And caveat that this video is not sponsored in any way. I just figured that since I was in Orlando, why not go check this place out because I've been seeing it all over my For You tab and I just wanted to check it out. So <laughs> they didn't know that I was filming this video in any way. Uh, I wish that bookstores would sponsor me to come shop at their stores. That would be really fun and that would be a dream, but it's not happening, so. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Let me know, do you like going to local bookstores? Do you have any particular favorites? I'd love to hear from you in the comments section. And if you're still here, but you don't know what to comment, why don't you comment that little two pink hearts emoji you know the one i'm talking about comment that down below to let me know that you watched this whole thing thank you so much for being here with me today i had fun i hope that you did too and have a terrific rest of your day bye and i'll see you in the next video